In this video, we will learn how to calculate parameters for a binomial random variable. Recall the formulas we learned in the previous lesson for discrete probability distributions. We had these formulas for our parameters, the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Those formulas still work when it comes to binomial random variables, because remember, they are also discrete, but they're special. And they have special formulas to get the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. And you can see that they're very simple. So let's do some exploration, and we'll get a review of how you would do this with any discrete random variable that's not binomial, too. So the mean is the sum of the products of each x value times the probability of that value. So we could start with, and remember x here is the number of times we get heads in four flips of a fair coin. So here we have all the possibilities and their probabilities. And we could multiply each number of successes times the probability of getting that number of successes, copy that down, and then take the sum And that would be our mean. And usually we want to show it to at least one decimal place more than the original random values or possible random values. All right. Now, the mean, I meant to say, we'll start working on the standard deviation and the variance, the variance first. So now that we have the mean, we'll take each x value minus the mean, make that an absolute reference, raise that quantity to the power of 2. So we're squaring our deviations times the corresponding probability, and then copy that down. And again, we want to sum that column, and this will be our variance. And the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Okay, so let's see if our special formulas give us those same answers. So it says here that for binomial random variables, n times p will give you the mean. So n is 4 times p, 0.5, gives us a mean of 2, and that matches up. Go ahead and make these all the same number of decimal places. All right, now the variance is supposed to be n times p times q. So n times p times q, and there you have it. It matches. And of course, taking the square root of that will give us the same answer. The square root of n times p times q and there you have it, okay? Now this was an example where we had equally likely outcomes. Let's look at another example where we are rolling a three out of um, five rolls of a six-sided fair die, okay? So again, we will calculate x times p of x, then copy that down, get the sum and that is our mean go ahead and set all these to one decimal place okay now that we have our mean go on and do the variance. So we have the x value minus the mean absolute reference quantity to the power of 2 times the corresponding probability. Copy that down. Sum it up. And there is our variance. And finally, taking the square root will give us our standard deviation. 
Now let's test out the special formulas. Remember the mean is n times p, n times p. The variance is n times p times q. Or you might even just say, since we know the mean is n times p, you might even just take the mean, which is n times p already, and multiply it by q. And then the square root of the variance. So there you have it. They work out. And that is how you find the parameters of a binomial random variable.